seven, my seven, my seven, my seven. I'm dipping in my seven, my seven, my seven. Okay. I'm dancing in my seven, my seven, my seven. What's going on, y'all? It's your boy LSA Rod Two Five Four. Ain't tuning in for another one. You may be. Why is the camera pointed at a couch? But let me show you right now. Boom. What we got here? We got a package. In this video. Um, the reason why I'm starting here is because we're going to make our way down to the garage where we can utilize whatever's in this box. So as you can see, there is a box inside of the box. There is no real labeling other than this right here. Here we have the Sand Leaky Rechargeable uh, Flood Camping Flashlight. So this, as you can see by the title, or by the intro is a sponsor video a uh, company sent this out to me um to ask me if i wanted to review it i said sure you know give it a shot um i try to keep it to things that would be relevant to the channel in some way shape form or fashion um and that i could use or that you guys can use so uh out of the box you have out of the box you have instructions Let's see or a guide so to speak um night walk uh, camping. These are the, these are what you can use for night walk, camping, touring, fishing, repair. That's us. Uh, hunting, running, bicycling, hiking, or construction. So, of course, you know I ain't doing pretty much none of these except for repair. So you can use it for your repairs too. Let's get into it. So out the box. Got a charger. It is a 4.2 uh, output, 1.5 amp. That's to charge it up. Also comes with a stand. It's like a almost like a tripod stand. Let's see how that works. Ah, okay. Check it out. Check it out. Meow. So yeah, you can basically take a little stand right there, set it up like that. You know what I'm saying? Have your light on there. It's lit. Definitely need that. Uh, I don't really know. I mean, the uh, on first, like on first touch, I'm gonna go through. I won't say cheap. Okay, I will say cheap. Uh, it does kind of feel cheaply made, but however, I don't believe that the flashlight really weighs that much. So it probably doesn't have to be like an industrial grade stand for it to hold the weight uh, of, this, of this flashlight. Flashlight, lantern, etc., etc. whatever you want to call it. So here is the unit, as you can see here. Uh, it looks like here, let me let me put put y'all in the game right quick. I already see where this attaches to. Has that screw right there. So let me get that hooked up. Thank you. 
All right, so we got that attached on there like that. Like I said, that's just to uh, charge it. Well, this is to charge it. I believe it also has a USB output. That way you can uh, charge devices if you were, you know, camping or, you know, I don't know, hiking. I don't know. I don't do either of those things. Uh, but, yeah. You got your high power spotlights, shower, shoulder strap hole, um, switch, uh, tripod hole, uh, side floodlights, USB outputs. That's what I was talking about for charging your phone or whatever. Uh, charging input ports. Those are the ones that are right there on the back. And then you have the lampshade. It's three millimeter toughened glass. So, uh, let's go ahead and turn it on. Hopefully, it's charged. If not, then I'll charge it up and then I'll cut you back on. So, oh shit. <laughs> oh, oh, wow. Okay. So, uh, that's like the side light. And that's pretty big. do now i'm gonna go down in the garage and uh we will put this to the test in the dark garage with the door closed etc etc all that um yeah, that's crazy <laughs> talk about talk about light i mean you always need light when you're working on cars etc etc so it definitely helps Definitely, definitely helps to have as much light as possible. And that is one reason why I chose to accept this review or to accept this product for review is because I wanted to see if we're going to have to turn out some lights. There. I'm going to make it very dark in here. So y'all bear with me. I need to get in a good place where I can still have movement or kind of know where the hell I'm going. So no further ado, goodbye. All right, so now I'm standing in a pitch black dark garage. So go ahead and hit Boom, first button. I guess this, this is a side light. This is still the side light. I mean, it still works, etc. cetera, et cetera. Um, As you can see, it lights it up pretty well. Okay, we can see the wheels. You can see the swangers over there. Gleaming, gleaming like new money. So that works pretty well, right? So um, then they have the a dimmer setting, then it's off. Now the other setting, okay, yeah. So the other setting, I'm gonna turn y'all around for it. Actually, yeah, let me turn that off. Okay, so turn the camera around, and then I'm gonna show you the spotlight. So this is the spotlight. I mean, it is a, that's, that's crazy. It's pretty crazy. I mean, it, it is crazy, like, I guess how solid the uh, circle is that you're looking at, so to speak. I think it works, though. I think it'll work. I mean, it's, it's a light. Of course it's going to work. So, um, you do have two settings. That spotlight so as you can see everything I mean it's very very bright light see so in the event that uh, I guess you let's say for example we're working on a car etc etc uh, then we could possibly just set 
this up on the stand and then you'll be able to see everything there even if you were just working with a buddy and you know you told your buddy to hold the light i mean if you could as you can see like i said that hard circle i mean it, it lights up pretty much the whole engine bay you know what i'm saying the whole engine bay I'm trying not to fall in this bitch yeah so yeah man i, I think that I think that this is good. I think that this is good. I think that this is definitely something that could be used. It could be beneficial to you guys. So I'm going to put the link down in the description box below. Um, it's a light. Who doesn't need more light? So it's your boy, LS Chevrolet 254, back with another review. Remember, I forgot we in the dark. So remember, identify your weaknesses, make your strength. Life is all about choice to choose while you in productivity over procrastination. And remember, the hustle don't stop, the grind don't stop. Yo.